Hi Aries, welcome to your March monthly reading. As you know, I usually pull a general cards and I meditate a little bit on them and then we do a deep dive together by clarifying them. I just want you to know what I normally do is I lay down nine cards, sometimes two cards stick together so I consider them to be a package deal. The top row is the beginning of the month, the middle row is the middle of the month, the bottom row is the end of the month. And then I crisscross to see how they align and what other extra messages we can get from them. Now Aries, this is a general message. These are general messages for all you Aries out there. Of course, if it doesn't resonate, please look at your rising and your moon sign as they may clarify, complement, or be more significant to you or resonate with you as well. With that said, I also do mid-months, and then I also do love readings separately for the month. So if this isn't what you're looking for or what you need to hear, please click on and listen to some of my other um, videos that I have posted online. So with that said, let's begin. Let me just close my computer here. The overall influencing card that I got for the month of March is the Knight of Pentacles, and I feel like I've gotten this multiple times for you, Aries. I really think that you guys are trying to overall um, is get yourselves grounded in your lives, whether it's in a relationship, your work life, your home life. You're trying to find that healthy, happy balance, and you want to ground yourselves. You want to know that your finances are going to be okay, your relationships are going to be okay, your kids are going to be okay, you're going to be okay. You're just looking for a steady, healthy, grounded balance in your life, and March pretty much says that. Overall, I see a lot of coins on the table and a few cups. So this tells me emotionally, again, you're looking for that grounding force in your life. And in general, Aries, in 2020, there isn't a lot of massive changes. There's just a lot of stability coming your way. The only massive changes I see happening for Aries overall in 2020 is the ones that you make. So if you change your career because you want to, and I see that that's plausible, I see it in this month also in March, it's because of you. Whatever big thing that you're going to do in your life, it's not because of all the external forces going on in your lives, it's because of what you're going to do, the, the, the steps that you're taking. And this is probably why you're feeling this way. Also, guys, at some point after the 10th, I believe, Mercury goes direct. So it's also going to be a great time for you guys to travel because I do feel there's a little bit of travel for some of you Aries on the road. And it looks like it's something that's going to be really great for you. I only recommend that you please meditate while you're there and you do take a time out and just take some time for yourself so you can collect yourself and, you know, create that energy within yourself to refocus yourself when you do come back home or you do come back from your trip on how to apply the things that you need for your daily grind. Okay, so to begin out, the beginning of March, we have Temperance. Archangel Michael stepping in to bring balance into your life. He's trying to either restore or bring something significant within your life. The following card is the King of Pentacles. I feel like there was a situation with an Earth sign male. Crosswatcher, if this is you, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Archangel Michael, I suspect, is bringing this person back into your life from the past. There's unfinished business. Or this is just a significant individual that's in your life currently that you are either doing one of two things. You're working together and you're trying to create a company together or you are trying to reestablish a relationship. That's for some of you, Aries, specifically. After that, I got Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is what's going on at the, the beginning of the week. To me, this says a few things. This could be the starving artist, the Five of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. It's, you're trying something new. You're trying to start a new company, a new business. And, you know, in the beginning, you're not going to have, like, all the finances aren't going to roll right in. You know you're going to be a little bit in the red until it all picks up steam. This could also be first world problems. That's what I heard, first world problems. So maybe your standards are too high. Or maybe you're just, you know, a lot of you Aries, you do push yourselves because you're extremely goal-oriented. So, you know, for you, you might be saying, not good enough. And because you lack a little bit of patience, you want it like yesterday. But this just tells me you're not really giving up either. You're going to build. You're going to keep working at it. Even though there's no coin in the beginning, something of you guys suspects 
that in the future you you'll be on a happier road so maybe a lot of you Aries might have a reduction in salary or pay but now you're being able to balance that workflow between your relationship your home life whatever it is for you guys it's a little bit okay for you because you're looking for different aspects in your life that healthy balance that i was telling you earlier about the knight of pentacles you, you kind of want it all but now you're understanding on your road as i always call it the pinwheel and the center dot is your true north what's your true north your happiness you realize going on this road what really does matter for you guys and i and i suspect this is the feeling because now we're getting into the middle of the month you have the four of cups i'm trying to see where the glare is yeah four of cups she's basically getting invitations and she's getting offers but she's sort of like ignoring them or denying them like she's like yeah okay okay like she's getting good job offers but you know she's not exactly thrilled by them she's not exactly saying no either you're not saying no you're getting invitations you're accepting the invitations but you're not exactly flat out saying yes you're not excited about it because I think a lot of you are doing this reflection where I was telling you earlier, you know, you, you're, you're starting to think of doing things differently. And, you know, that starving artist issue where I was telling you earlier where you're working on something different and new. And, you know, you're wondering if there's a future in that, you know, if there's if that's a plausible road for you guys. So you're turning down other offers in the meantime. But interestingly enough. I feel as if it's what was was boring to you or not even boring. It just took so much of your time and energy and it wasn't really what was like feeding your soul. So now you're looking for that. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to feed your soul. Seven of Pentacles in the center. Yeah, you're trying to invest in a different type of future, guys. You're trying to invest in like a new company, uh, um, your side hustle, whatever your side hustle is, you're really starting to consider it seriously. But whatever it is, you're thinking about investing. Now, this could be into a job, could be to an actual investment or a person. You know, maybe you're thinking about a person as an investment where they could be your business partner or your love partner. Guys, this general reading, just remember, there's a lot of you guys out there. So this apply it to what you think this is. We're going to clarify these things. So we're going to get deeper um, meaning and clarification. To end the middle of the month, you have the Seven of Cups. He's confused. You're confused. It's not like you're delusional. Maybe some of you are. I don't know. You know what your situation is. But you have so many options on the table that you're now getting confused. You're like, oh my God, do I stay in my old career? Do I do this new thing? What do I do? And a lot of you, it's a little bit fear-based. You're not so scared, Aries. You guys are not scared to do something new as long as you know it's going to prevail. As long as you know it's going to be successful. But you don't know. So that's why you're confused. You're afraid to do something that you don't know if it's going to be financially successful or not. So you keep doing this tiptoe dance back and forth like, oh, should I, should I not? Should I, should I, should I not? Look at him. He's like, if I turn over this cup, it could be a cup of shit and then I'm screwed. It's not the case. It's all right if you go and you try and you experiment and then you backtrack. Nothing's going to happen to you. You'll be just fine. But, you know. You'll see as I line up these cards how they fell. Now going into the end of the month, we have Six of Cups. So this talks about you knowing what you know from your history, from your childhood history, or somebody coming back and revisiting you from the past. Two of Pentacles. You're, you're, you're definitely juggling two things. You could be juggling work flow with home flow. You could be juggling your work life with your love life, whatever it is, or your single life, and you're trying to balance both together. It's definitely balancing two situations. You could also be trying to balance out your nine to five and your side hustle. Remember, it's two situations and two scenarios, and more or less, I feel like that's what's going on with you guys, because there's a lot of pentacles on the table. So I think a lot of you are doing your nine to five, or you're trying to make money to make your ends meet, and do also your side hustle. At the end of the, the month, March going into April, happy birthday, Aries. <laughs> Right now we're in Pisces season, but then we're at the end of the month, we'll be going into Aries, which is we're right about here. Here you are, the Emperor, Aries, boom. 
starting your own company, starting your own business, unless you're dealing with an authoritative figure, somebody that's older than you, or your father, or a fatherly figure, or a mentor. But you have the Four of Pentacles. You're holding tight. You're either holding tight onto your finances because you don't know if it's going to be a success, so you're holding onto your money. You don't know if your side hustle is something that you should talk about, so you're keeping it to yourself. You don't know if... Um, the choices that you're about to embark on is something you should share with the greater world. So you're keeping a tight lid onto it. Also, as in the world of feelings, if this is something that's emotional for you, you're emotionally shutting down. Not down, you're just keeping it close to the vest. Now, if I go in the other position, the vertical position, I have temperance. Beginning of the month, with the four of cups in the middle of the month, and the six of cups. Archangel Michael is stepping in to bring balance into your life, but he's going to represent to you another offer from something from the past. Now, this could be work-related, love-related, whatever it is. You guys know what it is. He is going to step in and just kind of interject some sort of offer, invitation to you. Because you see down here, there's a little hand. This is usually when your fates step in and do this for you guys. So in the beginning of the month, He's going to step in and start making the motions on the pinwheel for certain individual things to happen on your road. This is going to be one of them in the middle of the month, the offer. And at the end of the month, you're going to have to consider it because it's something from the past. It's something you know well. Moving on to the beginning of the month for the King of Pentacles. Somebody coming back in from the past, and this could be the King of Pentacles. This could be this, uh, or this very grounded individual. You're each slightly older, graying hair, not graying hair, or he has light blonde hair. It's light. That's what the vision I got. Uh, Seven of Pentacles for the middle of the month. You investing in this individual, whether it's financial or re uh, relations related, and you juggling both. You could be juggling at the end of the month your work life and your love life, or you could be investing with this individual financially in a company, and you're also doing your other side hustle or your nine to five. Whatever it is, the investment entails this person, and you're juggling two scenarios regarding this person. There's definitely an investment involved. Now over here, finally, when we had the eight of pentacles and the five of pentacles, financially working hard, not making that much money, being left out in the cold slightly on the financial level, um, having, you know, the, um, the starving artist mentality, you being confused in the middle of the month, what should you do? Should you move forward with the side hustle or not kind of mentality? And then at the end of the month, you know, doing, starting your business, starting your company, but keeping mum about it, being a little quiet, not, you know, keeping things close to your vest. Either you're trying to save your resources to do this side hustle or something along those likes. It is definitely some, you, Aries, are making big moves. And I think you now know no one else can help you except for you. So you're not, any external forces that you need to help you do what you need to do, it's because you're going out of your way to get them. So, hey, Chuck, I need this and this from you. Can you help me? You know, it's kind of like that. And then you pull the resources from Chuck. And then you go to Sally. Hey, Sally, I know you're you're well-versed in this. Can I pick your brain? So you extract what you need from Sally B. So you go from A, B, and C, and you take what you need, and you put them in your tool belt in order for you to manifest what you need to manifest. You're starting to realize, Aries, that this, all of this, is you manifesting a different future. Very interesting, Aries. Universe and Spirit Guides, Wise Temperance here for my Aries folk. This is a very, very interesting... If anything, this is a very blessed reading, Aries. Three of... Three of Swords. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Now, Three of Swords coupled with Temperance. By the way, this is also the card of Sagittarius, so I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius and they ended up breaking your heart. I'm throwing that out there because it's plausible. For me, I'm getting like you've been very hurt in the past. You've been stabbed in the heart like three ways to Sunday. And it's just killing you. You've been stabbed in the heart by somebody family related. One. You've been stabbed in the heart love related. Two. You've been stabbed in the heart three related. Work. Somebody in the work world has stabbed you in the heart. 
whatever it is. This is definitely past energy because I know that this is in the beginning of the month. I need you guys to understand this is what is. This is just a clarifier. I just saw an orb go by. Guys, this is definitely your fate stepping in and your guides coming in and listening. This is definitely Archangel Michael coming in to help you to overcome this pain because this is actual real pain. This isn't a joke. And a lot of you Aries, yeah, you you talk about your feelings, but you kind of skirt them. So you don't really get it all out. You, you take most of it on within you because you don't feel like bothering other people about it. But this is profound pain. I'm trying to find where... Oh, the light. Anyway. Sorry. Guys, this is profound pain. This is very painful. So whatever it is you were dealing with in your past, it has hurt you. So this is what's forced you to stop making specific moves in your life, Aries. The, the, this is why you, you, you have been like, not confused, but why you haven't been able to make choices. You're like, okay, I'm willing to give it a shot, but I just don't want to get burned again. And it looks like, you know, you put your faith in a lot of people and you got burned bad but archangel michael is coming in to reassert a certain opportunity that you missed or lost because what you went through truly wasn't your fault and you know now it's like the universe is repaying you back in kind and they see your due diligence they see your hard work they see what, how you're applying yourself and they're giving you what you need why is the king of pentacles here please clarify the king of pentacles aries is amazing reading Oh my God, temperance. Oh, I hate this, this light. Uh, all right, I'm trying to see temperance. Anyway, King of Pentacles is bringing this dude back into your life, 100%. Temperance, you got temperance right next to this, this King of Pentacles. He's definitely bringing this person back to you. There is some sort of missed opportunity with this King of Pentacles. Either he's gonna help you on your way by either giving you money by either mentoring you, by either introducing you to other people, or to reassess a new love situation that you had previously ignored. Whatever it is, if Archangel Michael is putting this person on your road, take it seriously. And this is like probably happening to you at the end of February, beginning of March, if it hasn't been happening already as we speak. Why is the Five Pentacles here with the Eight of Pentacles? Thank you. There's going to be a King of Swords, but he came out in reverse. So, Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords in reverse. Somebody is, and this this male sign, this air male sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, he sees you putting in this hard work. And he's, he likes what you're putting out there. He loves the content. He loves the hard work. He loves the detail. He loves the idea. Just be careful this person isn't coming in to steal your ideas and just take all the money and run. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but for this king to be coming in in the reverse, there's something shady about him. So I would just beware. That's about it. Forewarned is forearmed, Aries. Please come back and write comments at the bottom and let me know how this prevails for you guys. Why is the Four of Cups here? Please clarify Four of Cups. Four of Cups, please. Why is Four of Cups here? The Hermit, yeah. So, it's kind of what I was telling you before. You, you're you getting invitations. You're getting, um, with the Hermit card, this is clarifying the Four of Cups. You're getting those invitations. You're getting those offers, but you're turning them down. So maybe you're getting like these job offers, but you're like, oh no, I just, this is just me repeating the patterns I was doing in my past and it's not going to make me any more happier. It's like, whatever. But you know, this also means taking time away, Four of Cups, just like the Hermit is reconfirming for me. You are taking a step back. You are reassessing, but you are now internalizing and using your inner wisdom to make the choice because you're like, you know what? I've got three full cups that make me happy. Do I want another? 
Sure, I would like more money. Sure, I would like to be ultimately happy. But now you're starting to ask yourself. You're internalizing. You're going within. And you're like, what is truly going to make me happy? Do, do I go back to the corporate world and forget the side hustle? What do I do? This is just telling you to take time out to figure it out. And you are. You are. And, and in the middle of March, this is what's going on. Why? And Because the Seven of Pentacles is there, but what are we investing in? Let's see. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Please clarify Seven of Pentacles. Oh, too many cards. Yeah, this is just way too many for me, guys. But I feel as if sometimes I just want to come in upside down. So let's see. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Please clarify Seven of Pentacles. Please clarify Seven of Pentacles. I was telling you before, you're trying to manifest something new. A new financial stream of revenue. Whether it's even a relationship. But you're trying to start, you're trying to manifest Page of Pentacles and the Magician. You're trying to manifest something new. And I know it's new because the Page of Pentacles tells me you just don't have all the, the resources or the skill set to do this other thing that you're trying to do, that you're building. But you're building because you are investing because this is actually what is. And this is definitely telling me you're trying to manifest this new future or this new stream of revenue. 100%, even if it's a relationship, you're trying to manifest it. But this more or less tells me this is something else that you're trying to manifest either um, a new, new stream of revenue or a new job or, you know, change your workflow. You just don't have all the necessary skills yet, but you are manifesting it and you're learning quickly because you are investing in it. You're investing in that project, you're investing in a new company, you're investing in yourself, or you're investing in an individual or and or a partner, which could be this king of pentacles on the table. So this is very, very interesting. And I'll show you something else more, why I think the king of pentacles is definitely older, because the, the magician has all the skills necessary for what he needs to do, while the page does not. He needs to be mentored by the magician. So, and when you have the seven of pentacles over here, man, uh, uh, trying to invest and, you know, reaping the rewards from a harvest, you're willing to do that. This is very interesting. And above that was the king of pentacles, where I think this king of pentacles is very significant for you guys. Why is the seven of cups here? Seven of cups. Please clarify seven of cups. Are we delusional? Or are we just lost? Or are we just confused? Why is seven of cups here? Please clarify seven of cups. Aha. Judgment day. So. In the middle of the month, as we go to the end of the month, we have the Seven of Cups. Trying to make a choice, being confused slightly in, into knowing which direction to go into or what we should do. Judgment. You need to make a judgment call. It's scary. It's tough. You're worried. But you do need to make a judgment call. You know why? Because once you decide what you want to do, Aries, that's it. Boom. The universe heard you. And they're going to make it happen. They're going to say to themselves, all right, this is what Aries wants to do. They made a judgment call. Now we're going to step in and help them do that because that is them trying to find their ultimate happiness because the universe always works on your behalf. They don't just come in there like, oh, yeah, let's fuck their shit up. No, that's not how it works. They hear you. They know what you want. They're, they're trying to help you get to your true north. And they're stepping in and like, okay, you, you've got to make a choice, Aries. You got to make that judgment call right now. Is that what you want? And a lot of you are doing that because there's no way that for me to get temperance twice and judgment. It's for sure that this is something that's regarding you, Aries, that um, is something that is incredibly impactful on your life. Why is the six of cups here? Why is the card of the past here? Please clarify six of cups. What's going on with six of cups? Ah, interesting. Six of Cups with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. 
So something had happened in the past that, that financially either robbed you or there was a complete lack of balance. Somebody in your world or in your realm pretty much has basically turned your past world into a topsy-turvy. So either somebody from the past, you lost a job and it, and it, and it hurt you deeply because the person who fired you could have been familial. It could have been a good friend that you weren't expecting it to happen. So this is why you had the three of swords and it hurt and it cut you bad. Or this is somebody who cut you out of the family uh, resources or finances. This, and Or this was a lack of balance in, in a financial sense and something from the past as far as family is concerned. So maybe you had a family business in the past and you got cut out. Or maybe there was like a, a family will and the money was taken away from you. Or something was unfairly taken from you on a financial level or you had lost a certain amount of money and this has something to do with family or something from the past so if you're married and this was a divorce or this was your, just your childhood home or, or something reflecting that uh why is the two of pentacles here please clarify the two of pentacles for us please clarify two of pentacles yes yes my friends knight of wands which is pretty much you guys Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, mostly Saggy, but this also represents all the fire signs. This is you having a light bulb moment, a light bulb idea and running off with that idea. Or this is you, you know, receiving an offer or this is you running in and running out like too quick, like you, you, you don't take your time. However, it's coupled with the nine of pentacles, which is talking about finding your own personal and individual independence. I don't care if you're married, if you're single, or you're partnered, whatever it is. This is talking about you as an individual. This is talking about you finding your own independence, whether you're with someone or not. And it's talking about finding your own financial uh, independence and you having an idea to get that. And you juggling. Because these are the clarifiers to this. So you are juggling two situations. And I believe it could be a relationship. Because you, you, you might be meeting somebody and you're single. And you have to juggle, you know, the dating world. And your, you know, your overwhelmed workload. Or, you know, this is you coming up with an own business idea. And you doing a side hustle. And then you're nine to five. Because for me, all the nines in the deck talk about individuality of yourself, whether you're, you're single or not. Now, Emperor and Four of Pentacles. Last but not least, why are they here? Thank you. Any more fallout? Interesting. Okay. I got three cards here. And I think it had a little bit of a speech to tell me. So the Emperor, this could be very much you, because that's the card of the Aries with the Four of Pentacles, or you're dealing with another Aries and or mentor or boss or partner. You have the Fool card. So I suspect this is you trying to start your own company, your own business, something along those likes. Queen of Cups. You're not nurturing it enough or and or yourself. And the Eight of Swords. You feel like you're stuck. Why do you feel like you're stuck? Now, a lot of what I'm hearing is you feel stuck because you don't feel like you have enough of finances. Ah, there we go. You're holding back money because you're afraid that you might not have enough. So this is why you feel stuck. So that's why you're holding on to your money too tightly. But you're not nurturing yourself and or the project. But you are willing to start something new. You are willing to take that risk. As always, that's what the emperor does. Now, you could also be feeling stuck on an emotional level. And so you're not revealing what you're doing. Maybe you feel like the side hustle, you're afraid to tell people what you're doing because they might steal your ideas or they might judge you or something along those lines because judgment was on the top side. That someone is going to be judging your choices and you just don't want to deal with it. Whatever it is, you've kind of turned off 
your emotional side because you're like, I got to go into business mode. I'm going into business mode. So this water sign, or you're dealing with a water sign female, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who's not, you know, nurturing or helping you or is not giving you aid or is not supporting you. That's what I heard. No support. But you could also not be supporting yourself in, emotionally. So, and this is why you feel stuck, interestingly enough. So these are the energies, March, going into... Um, April. But I think overall you are taking your time to invest in whatever it is that you want to do. What I'm going to do now is just pull one angel answer card and angel of abundance, which I should have taken them out before. Universe Angel Spirit Guides for Team Aries, only the positive, angelic, angels that support and protect Aries. I invite you and you only. What are the messages you would like to give them? Thank you. Wow, guys. Ooh, this light is no good for the cards. And when it goes dark, no good for my face. <laughs> Big happy changes. And... The situation will improve. Absolutely. So let's talk about these things right about now. Okay. Big happy changes. Yeah. You're investing this time, this energy for this, whatever it is. So you, th things, first of all, will improve because this is what you've got going on. Things will improve because you are investing and you are taking your time. But you're so worried because, you know, your finances aren't there. Look at her. I'm broke. I, I put all my money into this and I'm busting my ass working so hard. Where, where, you know, where's the, where's the fruits of my labor? But the situation will improve, you know, and you holding on to all your little pennies or whatever it is, the situation will improve. Big happy changes are definitely coming your way. Huge ones. I, I really don't think there's anything else to say, Aries. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, please come back for your mid-monthlies. And if you want a love reading, stay tuned. They'll be out next week. Until then, Aries, bye.